This is a can of black beans. Ceci, c'est une canette des haricots noirs. Is this a can of black beans? Or is this a canette des haricots noirs? First thing, same thing, two titles. Language, in and of itself, has different identities of things. Now that's strictly semantics, of course. <clears throat> but that's just a tiny illustration and the most immediately obvious one, especially for someone in Canada where, by law, everything has to be written in English and French. Every label on anything that ever gets sold here. These laws are taken very seriously in Canada. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but is this a can of chickpeas? Or is this just a lump of metal with some organic stuff inside of it? Black beanness is an idea that we have cooked up ourselves, along with the black beans themselves, I guess, uh, in order to make sense out of what this is. But is this a lump of metal containing some organic material? No, it isn't. Well, it is and it isn't, I guess. It's also just a jumble of matter and energy. This is the interplay of matter and energy, which ultimately are simply functions of each other. Take that silly little example of this can of food, foodness, canness, all of these things are identities we have given this. It doesn't actually have phenomenally. They are labels we have placed on things as surely as the manufacturer has placed the label on this. Without the label, it's not so obvious what it is. We need somebody to tell us what it is. We can't tell that this is a can of chickpeas or, <laughs> sorry, throwback Thursday. Sorry, it's Sunday, but uh, we can't tell that this is a can of anything. We can see that it's a can, but looking at it, we don't know if there's anything in it. All kinds of its aspects, all the, many of its attributes have to be filled in. We have to decide what its attributes are, or we have to be told, or we have to discover what its attributes are. And things have as many attributes as we care to g find in them. You can say we know enough, okay, but enoughness, sufficiency, that too is an attribute that we put on it. We know enough about this to know that if we shovel it down our gizzards, it will keep us alive a little bit longer. Well, and it's got plenty of other attributes. Tastes good. I think it does. I more, much prefer, to be perfectly honest, uh, dried black beans stewed for eight hours, preferably with a big pork bone in there uh, and a bunch of tropical spices. Yummy! However, I love these. But do I love them? <laughs> what does it mean to love black bean? Uh, what would you call that? What's carayotas cremas, that Spanish dish or Latin American dish? Is it a soup or is it a stew? Hard to say. Yummy. You decide. What is a, where does a soup start and a stew end? Vice versa. Whatever. Um, identity. Things are what we decide they are. The moment we decide there's something else, they are something else. Um, inevitably, invariably, things simply go off all known maps. And we know this. And it doesn't really bother us to the, to the extent that we might think it does. I always like to point at that thing. That's the sky. Why is the sky gray today? Here on the prairie, the sky is generally a very deep, beautiful blue. The kind of blue that you see, say, in the north of England over the sea on a sunny day, where it's a particularly deep blue that you just don't uh, see almost anywhere else I've been in the world. Um, but the conditions in this part of the world are about as different as it's possible to be. It's the same sky up there. Um, same attributes, different reasons. Identity is a tricky thing. 
Uh, it's not an absolute. We can say that it's an absolute because without identity, you can't really sort of make any progress. But again, we've put identity on things. Reality doesn't owe us ease of manipulation. If we can't come to grips with reality without the law of identity, that's our problem. That's not reality's problem.